you're going to get air movement into a point at which it's too dense, you know, and then no air. So then, do you smell it? Um, the um, aerobic. Yeah, this is really old manure, huh? What I do since I don't have any uh, special treatment, I just yeah turn it over for the top. And yeah. Well, do you want us to make it outside so it will be easier to turn it over, or leave it there with the springs or something when it's necessary? You're not going to get an active compost on um, really aged material. So you start out with the carbon nitrogen ratio that's kind of wide, and then you narrow it down as you break it down. So this is really really old. The what I would look at I would, first, I I'd, I'd get representative sample, and I just look at where's my CN ratio at, where's my salts. Um, did we bring a bucket, or should I see if there's something? You get a bucket, because now cutting off the face is a good thing, because you can take samples all the way down. So we run around, and we do samples all around, and then when he cuts into it, yeah, we're we'll just going like that, and then when he cuts into it, we'll do down on the face, and that'll give you like a representation. If you had to use it right now, and we didn't have any tests or anything, you, you flip it a lot. Lo puedes hacer así, echarlo así para arriba. Lo que puedas, y luego del otro lado, así. Y just go all the way down and do it. That's it. There's a term we use called feathering. You go in like this, and you lift up, and you go. And it falls right. through the air, and you're getting more air. And you right. break, the air is getting the manure, the manure breaks down. The only reason to flip this now is to homogenize the green globity goo with the finish. It looks like 90% done. Oh, okay. And you're just trying to homogenize a little bit. Okay. Then it's, then it's just we can test it and see if we think it's good enough for compost tea as is. Okay. But later, when you want to make real compost tea compost, you bring in fresh. It's so old, it's, it's, it doesn't have much energy left. On the other side, it's got very good microbial populations. The, the, uh, the microbes, it's all bacterial in the beginning, and then, you know, it gets hot and starts to shut down, starts and then finally finishes, and then it gets inoculated with, with even more of what's all around you. Now, if it was a new pile, there'd be such light, fluffy structure on the bottom, air would be sucking in and going out the top. This is so dense, air probably goes in. And the sand doesn't help. Right. Air probably is only getting in that far, so the only time it's getting air is when your loader hits it. So we have to do it frequently. I would, you know, I would hit both sides a few times and then that's it, but, uh, yeah, so wherever we're getting the manure, ammonia smell. The water, does it need more, more water? How does it? Uh, what you do is it's called squeeze test. This is really done, but if it was early stage, squeeze and you'll be able to see water just slightly drip out because you're about 50% moisture. This is probably lower, it's probably like 40% and it has enough moisture. Moisture is not limiting anything here. Air is limiting everything. It's so dense that no air is getting in there. How much is uh, seven tons of compost? Not much. Uh, oh, oh, $25 a yard and the yard is maybe 1300 12 to 1300 pounds. So, yeah, one time shop once a year, that's cheap. Just well, we buy the compost. Buy <laughs> yeah. And eventually you'll buy it from the biodynamic guy. Maybe. Because that's even qual he higher. He wants to? Yeah, he was. Oh. He, said, he said this fall. He goes, I won't have any this fall. Okay, then we take this or? Um, or do you prefer not to? I don't know. Well, if you want to see what you got, we can test it. Okay. Otherwise, this is kind of field apply compost.